Hello and welcome back to Let's Play You Don't Know Jack. My name is WW Deadman, but you already know that. Let's keep going. This episode of You Don't Know Jack has been rated M for manure. Well, shit. Sorry, that's mature. We meant mature. Yeah, it's totally mature. And I'm Morley Safer. These trivia questions and Andy Rooney tonight on You Don't Know Jack. Now let's get to the rules. I'm gonna read you some questions. Okay, you already got it. Let's go. All the instructions First we up, need. Would you like some wine with that pecker? I recently got back from a bird hunting trip, and everything I shot down seems to either have the word pecker or cock in its name. I'm hoping to cook one up for dinner tonight. Which of these peckers and cocks would be considered most suitable for eating? Ox pecker, woodcock, woodpecker, or cock of the rock? Woodcocks are game birds hunted for sport and food. Of all the birds here, the woodcock is the only one that really has any meat on its bones. The rest are too small and probably wouldn't really satisfy me. <laughs> Next up. Totally mature. Smell that homemade corporate branding. Which art tool would be most helpful when drawing the Pepsi logo? A protractor, a compass, a ruler, or a T-square? Uh... You're an art tool. This would have been a good idea. The Pepsi logo is circular, and the handiest tool for drawing a circle is a compass. And when you're done drawing, you can use the pointy part to puncture the can and shotgun Th some Pepsi. Wait, what? Yeah. That's called a compass in English? I thought a compass was the thing that shows you directions. Pearl necklaces. And yay, it's a this or that. I'm going to read off seven titles, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a Neil Diamond album or a top 10 sex self help book on Amazon.com. If it's Neil Diamond, press one. If it's a sex guide, press two. I have, have absolutely no press idea four. about right either of those will topics. Get you laid. But answer wrong and you'll be a solitary man or woman. But, you know, the title of the song is, well, you get it. Keep your yeah. eye on the clock. Let's go. Bonk. Touching you, touching me. Velvet gloves and spit. The mystery method. Lovescape. Tickle his pickle. Ride him, cowgirl. What the fuck? I never realized how dirty Neil Diamond's album sounded, and the songs sound kind of dirty too. Play Me, Cherry Cherry, Done Too Soon, and his name is Neil. Neil! That guy is just dirty. And up next... What's the problem with Neil? We nine! We nine! Which spy during World War I had her schnitzel and her creme brulee too? Mata Hari, Nellie Bly, Ava Braun, or Margaret Scapes? I have absolutely no idea. Five seconds. I mean, I can absolutely exclude three, but... I guess I have to do everything around here. Mata Hari was, many believe, a double-dealing spy-slash-courtesan who worked for both Germany and France during World War I. The original femme fatale. Never heard of her. And ...executed by the French Prime Minister, who, not believing her lies, screamed, uh, If you have not been to Germany, then why is that schnitzel sticking out of your pants? Now coming up... Five. You know, uh, it would have been nice if we would have... 
Suppose you're playing the board game Real Life Clue. Based on U.S. murder statistics, how often should you guess that the murder weapon was the revolver? About 2 out of 3 games, about 4 out of 5 games, about 9 out of 10 games, or about 98 out of 100 games? If I had a lead pipe right now, I would beat you to death. And the correct answer I know. is... Over the past 30 years, the percentage of U.S. murders perpetrated by guns has hovered around 67%. During that same time, the number of murders committed by an actual person named Mrs. Peacock has hovered around 0%. And now... eBay or the highway? Okay, I need to come up with a lot of money fast. I'm not gonna explain why, but let's just say it rhymes with shambling debts. I'm thinking about trying to sell my possessions online. What can I sell on eBay? My booze, my bong, my dog, or my hair? Uh, what was the question? Why not? This right answer over here. eBay doesn't allow the sale of body parts, but you can buy and sell human hair. Uh, that's still not going to be enough money. What? Anyone interested in buying the next year's worth of You Don't Know Jack answers? Here's a taste. The answers to Friday's questions are Hydrogen, Jim J. Bullock, They All Farted, She's the Sheriff, and Eisenstein. And come I'm back. going to hold you to that. Brace yourself for the attack. Well, well, well. Somebody's in a hurry. Okay, then. Help, I lost my, um, my, oh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, good luck. Yeah. Uh, sheep? Nose. No idea. Uh, glass slipper? <laughs> yeah, virginity, sure. <laughs> Odin. No idea. What? Okay, we're done. Not a lot of money, although you are in luck, it should be just enough to buy my hair off of eBay. You don't know Jack! Gross. Either way, um, it would have been great about that World War I question uh, if back in school in history class we would have actually, like, had any real... like World War One anything. I mean basically the only thing about World War One that we learned in school back then that I still remember is the start of it. And that's about it. We did, however, do World War II, like, for the rest of the three years after that, that I still had history. So that that's, yeah. 
kind of a little bit of an imbalance in my opinion anyway um so much for school systems i'll see you in the next one until then leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more and until next time i'm not uw dadman bye